Hello everyone, today I will read and write uh, Adelphi ECU uh, DCM 3.5, it's from a Peugeot car, this is only for, for the test purpose of reading and writing. Afterwards, I will need to uh, repair the key, but I will give a try to read it and write it with uh, KT200 to see if it's working properly. Okay, uh, KT200 have two ways of reading uh, this type of issue. One it's in uh, a BDM mode, another one it's uh, based on uh, OBD2, but I will not read uh, via OBD2. I will use the multifunction cable and I will read uh, the ECU. I will try. I will. It's the first time when I read this type of issue with KT200. So I did not test in advance. But I expect uh, everything should be okay. So I need the CAN cables. So I have a bit orange, of course, and I will need the blue one. Okay, and one more power cable, which is the third one from here. So I connected only power plus and plus the ground and the CAN cables. They will use the multifunction cable. So this is the pinout, you can find it in the documentation. So it's telling me use orange cable, blah, blah, blah. I just want to ID it. Okay, I forgot to power up. Now I power it up and let's see if the issue can be identified. I will save the file. This Original read. So even if you let's say the the software it's requiring to to use OBD to cable and you choose a model which is designed via OBD2. If you know the ECU pinout, uh, you can connect directly the ECU with multifunction cable and uh, read it as you can read via OBD2. Exception, they are the modules which need to be unlocked via, via key. 
for example some cars if you don't have the proper emo you cannot read the ecu but it's not uh, the case for this type of ecu i will record okay the reading is still in progress seems it's a uh, taking some time as you can see right now it's almost uh, nine minutes reading via can connection okay so the reading is finished it took uh, 11 minutes and then 21 seconds now it's telling me to turn the dash so I will switch the multifunction cable off. Okay, so the reading. I will modify a file and uh, let's write it back. Okay, I have uh, prepared the writing file. This is only for test purpose. Uh, later I will write the original file back. So as you can see, it have uh, three megabytes. I will try to to write a different file. Also, the file doesn't have the checksum prepared. So I expect the KT two hundred to make the checksum correctly as is stated here. Of course, internet connection. Ah. I need to close the software in this case and reopen again. It's returning me an error regarding the internet connection. But I know for sure my my internet connection it's uh, working properly so i will id the ecu again okay i will open the the right file and they will write Okay, now does not return the error regarding the internet connection. Software has been entered in a no response state, but in this case we need only to, to wait until something is happened. That as you can see, the write process started. The communication markers are switching, and the progress bar it started to to have a writing. I will stop the video and return a little bit later when it's finished. Okay, the write process it's finished almost in eight minutes seven minutes and uh, 55 seconds now it's telling me to turn off the dashboard and wait 180 seconds or three minutes so I turn off the dashboard I click on OK bit too many times but I will wait three minutes
And then we start to get the ID again of the issue with uh, modified software. Okay, I'm back. Let's see if we can identify the issue. Power on. So everything is identified correct, and the issue that means has been uh, booted.